in the knowledge of him. Now then we read in Philippians 3.10 that I may know him mm -hmm. and the power of his resurrection. Here he's praying to give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him or knowing him. Verse 18. The eyes of our understanding being enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. Now if we just stop there, that's pretty good stuff. Verse 19 goes on to say, And what is the exceeding greatness of his power? Exceeding greatness. He could have just said, what is his greatness? But exceeding greatness means it goes beyond greatness. Now, there's just not a stronger word in the language that I know of to, to, do, to say that. So he says, it's great and everything beyond great. It exceeds being great. This power, then he says, to you and I, to us word. <laughs> Hallelujah. Who believes? According to the working of his mighty power. He's saying, you may not quite be able to grasp this power by me just telling you it's beyond great. So I want you to get a revelation of it. He prays for it. Remember, we just read it. I want you to get a revelation of it that there is exceeding great power for you and I who believe. And so he says, the explanation, the visual of it is, which he wrought or worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. So what he's saying is, I want you to see the exceeding greatness of this power God worked in Jesus. And what was that power? Well, he said he was shredded at the whipping post. His back was ripped open. His beard was plucked out on the way. He was bruised, beaten, slapped, spit upon, ridiculed, and then nailed to the cross to hang there and suffocate. Well, all that, and then he died. He gave up the ghost. All that culminated in death. Now, you know, an ordinary man would have died along the way with all that. But Jesus' life, he couldn't die until he gave up the ghost, and he did it on his own. Hallelujah. Because the wages of sin is death, but he never was deserved those wages because he never sinned. So he could have lived on. However, he gave up that for us. But he was a mess hanging up there, physically speaking. Mm -hmm. And so God wants you to see the exceeding greatness of this power here that works in us, toward us, who believe by visualizing this, then Jesus gave up the ghost, but you also got to visualize that he came back greater than before. Yeah. Totally whole. Amen. <laughs> Glory. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. But you worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. Look at this. Far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name. Cancer. The name. A. The name. Hallelujah. Every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. And, if that weren't good enough, he has put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him that filleth all in all. Hallelujah. Well, let's look at another example of this. Go to John chapter 11. You remember Lazarus? Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. 
Well, this is a picture of this. John 11, beginning with verse 1, Now a certain man was sick. So we know what killed Lazarus. He was sick. Named Lazarus of Bethany, the town of Mary and her sister Martha. It was that Mary which anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was sick. Therefore his sister sent unto him, saying, Lord, behold, he whom you love is sick. When Jesus heard that, he said, That sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified thereby. Now let me camp out here a minute. Um, it's important that you understand that God is not saying here that this sickness glorified him. So if it's not the sickness glorified in here, what is he talking about? He's talking about the power that he was raised again whole. That glorifies God. Yes. Not the sickness. The sickness only uh, glorifies the devil. Now don't get mad at me. I just got to tell you the truth. And there's a lot of people that teach sickness is teaching me something. Well, then stay sick and uh, learn. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right. It's the divine healing, the health, that is glorifying to God. Not the sickness. Right. Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Don't blame God for Satan's work. That's right. Amen. But if you if you don't read this properly with some of the current teaching going around that in, interjects that thought to you, then you just accept that that this is a fact.